Hey guys, we are back with part three of our Creative Arts Collaboration Hashtag series of videos. In this case, we are drawing a little bunny. And before we get started on part three, I want to remind you that there's a lot of other artists on YouTube out there participating in this hashtag event. So put the hashtag you see on my video, which I will try to include a text box somewhere like in here. Um, in the search box on YouTube and you should find a whole bunch of videos. Um, you also probably can put an additional hashtag um, with that one for like if you have a specific creative thing kind of video you're looking for like painting or uh, mixed media or drawing or something like that. So um, go check those out. Also Shannon Green and a few other artists are having a creative arts collaboration uh, YouTube channel hop and they are showcasing a few new YouTubers uh, who uh, don't have very many subscribers yet but have some really great content so go check them out show them some love and don't forget to like share and subscribe um, okay so we are going to continue with our bunny and this time we are going to use our colored the colored part of our drawing set so I'm going to for the moment I'm going to stick with the pencils Although I do have these in stick form in this kit, and I have sepia dark, sepia light, red, and white. I don't know if I'm going to use them all. Let's see, but I think so. We're going to start with one of our medium colors, which is the sepia light. Yeah. And I'm going to go into those areas of the bunny, and I'm just, I have the pencil on its side. So I'm getting the color without lots of the marks from the pencil and I'm adding it to the bunny's fur where I see that color or a similar color in his fur, yeah? And again, I'm just looking at shapes, I'm looking at the color This is a medium colored pencil, so you're probably going to need him in a lot of places that are on him that aren't white, white. Although he does have some white fur, so be careful. Okay, now we are going to take our blending stump, just like before, we have it on its side, and we're going to push the pigment from that pencil around on our paper. And blend out some of those pencil marks that we do have. And spread maybe a thinner coating of pigment in places where we need it. Remember if you get too much, again, the kneaded eraser picks this up pretty easily, although not as easily as the pencil or graphite, so you probably want to start being a little bit more careful about where you put your marks. Okay, I'm going to take my kneaded eraser and clean up here where I got outside the ears a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go with my darker sepia color. And I have it less on its side, and I'm drawing more with the tip now. Now, I'm going to be a little bit more careful about where I put this color. I'm sticking to the areas of his fur that are darker, or that sh are showing up darker in the photo. Don't be afraid to really kind of in those areas as you finalize up your drawing where the fur is really dark. Don't be afraid to, you know, really kind of lay on the pencil and put a lot of pigment down. And you can, you know, put in a few lines 
directional lines to hint at fur. This is the time to start doing that. Again, oops, my blending stump. I'm going to tap him off into the trash can it starts to get dusty. Okay, he has little hints of red. So I have this red chalk pencil that I want to go in and I want to I want to add some of this red in. And then as I'm using the red pencil, I'm also going to have the white pencil because you can blend the two pencils here on the paper. This is red chalk and this is white chalk. He does have this like reddish color to his fur. I need to sharpen my pencil. I'm using the white pencil to sort of blend some things together. And in order to try to lighten up some areas. Now if you've gotten an area that you feel you've made too dark,
also, of course, go back and come in with one of your other pencils and, you know, if you feel like you need to touch something up. as we finish up our bunny. We want to clean up any boo-boos. I sometimes come in with a pencil eraser or a stick eraser. This is a stick eraser. This is a pencil eraser. It sharpens just like a pencil. It's made by Faber-Castell. And it really lets you get into some of these little areas. I, I don't know. I feel like I have more control over it sometimes than the kneaded eraser. Maybe because it works like a pencil. So I'm just going around the bunny and I'm cleaning up my edges and also working on some of those highlighted spots that where his fur is really white. And adding in some sort of eraser marks to give us the look for our bunny that we want. Whatever you do, don't just do this with your hand because you're going to smear everything all over the place and you'll not be a happy camper. But I'll show you what I do sometimes do. Okay, he's just about done. He's pretty, he's pretty dang cute. So in my drawing bag, I have this large, flat, old, wide paintbrush and I just do this gently. And that'll get some of those eraser shaving bits off from the regular eraser. Then I can go in with my kneaded eraser, clean up any smudge marks. And we're good to go. Now before you do anything with your bunny or whatever animal you choose to draw um, or practice with, make sure that you set your charcoal and graphite with um, hairspray or a fixative. Uh, Krylon makes a workable fixative that you can spray on here that's really great because then you can spray it this layer and then if you wanted to keep working on your bunny later, you could work right on top of that workable fixative and spray it again and work again or spray it again. Um, if you, yeah, but it's an aerosol product. I don't really do aerosol products um, and it's um, the professional fixatives are not inexpensive. You can just get cheap hairspray from the dollar store. That will work. I use Spectrafix which not everybody likes, but it's a non-aerosol spray fixative. So I will spray him with that, a couple of coats, and then I will probably scan him for future use in collage, um, as a collage element, 
um, or something like that. Um, even the little practice drawings that you don't like make good collage material in future mixed media works um, as a whole or just ripping them up and using bits and pieces and um, you kind of don't feel so bad ripping up, about ripping up your work if it's a photocopy and not the actual one. All right, don't forget to go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and visit some of those other artists out there that are doing this hashtag event. There's some really great content out there. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. Uh, my contact information is in the description below. Uh, if you have anything um, you would like to put in the comments, do so. If you have future content you'd like to see in videos, hey, put that down there. Let me see. Maybe you'd like to see more drawing videos and you'd like to see me do some more drawing and let me know what you'd like to see me draw. All right. Uh, I'll see you all later. Bye.